Have you what? I got what? Pablo, what have I told you about leaving your Hall and Oates CDs in my player? Anyway, uh, welcome to the second part of painting Kiss using stencils. Uh, this time we're going to be painting a Frehley from the Dynasty album cover. Okay, so all you need, again, is uh, a white t-shirt stretched over a board, like so, and then make a life-size stencil, like so, okay. Uh, okay, we'll start with blue, and then, uh, the reason I start with blue is because there's an overall kind of blue feel to that. Um, especially the, the eyeshadow, or whatever you call it. Okay, so people, are, you know, often ask me where do you begin, and uh, I usually start with an eye, unless I'm painting Lemmy, in which case I'll start with a wart. Okay, so usually start with the eye again. Draw the pupil, circle around, and then that line there, and the other eye. Obviously, Ace has got brown eyes, so don't fill them in with blue. Um, obviously, you're going to fill them in there like that with brown. Then gently dust around where the makeup goes. This is only really a guide for drawing because this is going to be black again. again. But the shadow on the left of the nose, just put that very lightly blue. Okay, the nostril. Make the nostril quite dark because it will eventually be black, but you can get away with it being dark blue. And then the lip, again like I did the, 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 the lip on the previous t-shirt. The bottom lip. Contour line. And then fill it in with a lighter blue. Then when you outline it with the black, you can create more form. I've got a segment away for Ace's hair, and so I draw that in like so. And then the, eye, the eyebrow is kind of short to stroke. And don't forget the, the hair is in front of the eyebrow. That's basically that. That's a bit of makeup there before it disappears under the hairline there. And then the other eyebrow, try to keep a bit of movement in the brow where the hair where the hairs actually are, because even though they're drawn on, there's still some real hair underneath it. And that creates texture. And again, just fill in the makeup. Like so. And then that outline there. That looks a bit. You can do the big reveal, and that gives you the structure of the face. Then all we do, using the original photograph, we can block in um, all the bits that need to be modelled, okay. Like here for example, the mouth, fill in the corners, like so, to create that expression, and start filling in the shadows of the no, it's like so. Now here there's like a little bit of um, a lip, um, an edge to the nose there where the contour changes. So we put that in like so and then the shadow on this side of the nose and then it falls down and then there's a little bit of a, a line there. You've got the eye um, iris but then you've got to draw in the upper lid like so, yep, and then follow the shape down the corner of the eye, and then there's another crease. Okay, and when you've drawn the outline, start to block in that blue. Like so. 
and also get rid of the hard edge around the, the eyebrow because the, the mask tends, the stencil tends to leave a hard edge. If you want to soften that, break it up a bit to make it look more realistic. Eventually that will be black in a bit. Um, but you model it in with, with the blue and then there's a crease here, like so. And that follows the contour of the side and the nose, giving the nose form. So that's that. And then there's all this reflected light or reflected shadow really on the left. Slightly, there's slightly less um, blue, there's more flesh tone, so, but we'll do that later on, but I'll just pointed that out. And again, pulling the shape. And the upper eyelid, like so. And that contour line. Um, I've got to put shadow on the left hand side. There's a bit of a crease there, which is that, and then there's a bit of a shadow under the lip, and then this kind of shape where his chin.